Hi guys, it's Jen. Bonus video this week. One of my students has a lower body injury, so to keep her active while she's recovering, today I'm going to show you some core and upper body exercises that you can incorporate into your at-home workout or use if you have limited lower body mobility. Today we're going to work out together. Grab a chair, weights, and a mat, and let's get started. I'm going to do everything today from a seated position other than our ab workout on the mat. So grab a weight. We're going to start out with a seated bicep curl. At this point, you only need one weight. You're going to put your elbow on the inside of your knee. Your other hand is supporting on your leg. Your arm is straight down. And you're going to crunch up, down, up, down. So you want to be squeezing this bicep muscle as you're bringing your arm up. That's where your focus is. Four, three, we're doing 12 reps of each. Two, last one, and of course, you need to do the other side. So shift that weight, elbow on the inside of your leg, and let's get started. 12 reps of each. Squeezing the bicep muscle, focusing on the muscle that you're working. Fully extending your arm down, curling it up. Four, three, two, that's one. Now, pick up your other weight. You want to bring your legs closer together. I'm going to turn the chair a little so you can see a better angle. Slightly leaning forward. Arms not totally straight out in front of you. You're down at an angle because you're pulling back. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together. You're working your back. Pull back. Four. Three. Two. Last one. I'm going to stay in this position so you can see the good tricep form. Again, slightly leaning over, fully extending your arms, locking those elbows, squeezing the back of your arm. Four, three, two, last one. I'm going to turn my chair again, facing front. We're going to work the chest. Sit up nice and tall. Keep your spine neutral. You don't want your back to be arching forward. You want a nice, straight spine, arms at shoulder level, press in. Squeezing the chest muscles, keeping the core tight. Four, three, two, last one, bring it down, shoulders, you're going to come up and out, again, neutral spine, up, out, that's one rep, up and out is one, so when you're counting, that counts as one, don't swing your arms, Roll that movement, bring them up to shoulder level and down, keeping your arms straight. This is working the shoulders and the back. Keeping that core tight. Five, four, three. Your back, your head with your hands so that you're not 
pulling with your head and neck, and we are going to do side oblique crunches. So you come up to the side and to the other side. You're rolling from shoulder blade to shoulder blade. Again, one rep is both sides. So crunch and squeeze, exhaling as you're squeezing up. And don't pull with your head and neck, don't pull with your elbow. You want to lead with your chest and use those abdominal muscles to bring you up. Five, four, three, two, last one. I think I gave you a little extra rep there. And you're done there. So you can either start the video over and go through two more sets of those with me, or you can just continue that yourself. Um, I hope you enjoy that workout for today. Have a good week.